big weight control problem. We have people who are too fat. And it's surprising, but in Slovakia, you're trying to catch up to us real quick. I find the same problem over here. We've got to do something about this obesity problem. Now, if you have a friend who's obese, here's what you need to do. You need to get them to exercise because they're not likely to lose any weight. If they don't, they won't get the diseases that overweight people get. Exercise prevents all those diseases. But if they do exercise, it's good because every time you're eating less calories and losing weight, you lose muscle. If you exercise, you lose less muscle. So that's why exercise is important for the overweight people. These overweight people need to have a goal of losing 5% of their body weight in the next three months. For example, I'm 70 kilos. 5% would be three and a half kilos. Over three month period, that's doable. That's possible. That's not impossible. That's something anybody can do. So we should do that. Now, if people are not willing to do that, and they're very obese, there are candidates for surgery. Now, if we want to get another third principle across to them, we should tell them, stop eating between meals. No snacks. We find that will cure two-thirds of the overweight people if they just stop eating between meals. Now, what some, are some of the other big principles they should know? Well, they should know, how do you tell if you're overweight? You stand on the scale. If the needle goes out of sight, you're too fat. No, or if you pinch just between the hips and the ribs, and there's more than two centimeters, you're too fat. Okay? Now, the best way, lay down on the floor and put a board between your chest and abdomen. If it goes up towards your abdomen, you're too fat. <laughs> now, today, we have scientific ways to tell. The BMI, the body mass index, that can tell. You take your kilograms of weight, divide by your height in meters twice. That number should not be 25 or more. If you're 25, you're overweight. If it's 30, you are obese. Now, a lot of people say, but it's muscle. The doctor has a, no, has a way to tell whether it's muscle or not. He takes and puts a tape measure around your abdomen. And if it's big there, it's not muscle. That's not where the muscle is. The muscle's up in the arms and legs. It's not there around the abdomen. If it's big around there, you know it's too much fat, okay? And that's bad. That should be no more than 88 centimeters for women and 102 centimeters for men, okay? We need to keep that down. Exercise will bring that in before you've lost any kilos. Now, diet is more important than exercise and losing the weight. You have to walk about 300 kilometers to lower one kilogram of body weight, okay? But we know exercise is great once you've lost that weight to keep it from coming back. That's very important. But we're eating too fast. We need to slow down. We're eating with too big plates. We should have smaller plates, smaller cups, smaller bowls, smaller everything. We're eating too fast. Try chopsticks. Slow you down. If two is still too fast, try it with just one. <laughs> slow yourself down in eating. We need to eat more natural foods, less calories in natural food. We need to lead, have a less variety at one meal. We need to eat low calorie density foods. You will never get fat by eating a whole bushel basket full of cabbage. It takes too many days to eat it. So these are some general principles that the nation needs to start living on so we don't get too fat.